let's move on to pressure support again please watch my videos in order the pressure support tr ps trigger is purely assist trigger purely patient trigger only so it's patient trigger only and here we have to pick either pressure trigger or flow trigger and because of this you can guess there is no back up rate so you don't need to provide a respiratory rate to the ventilator or respiratory therapist that means the patient has to be awake enough and strong enough to trigger his own breath if not then the patient will become apneic and the ventilator start will start giving you alarms that the patient is not breathing the next thing is the target target here is very similar to pressure control it's pressure and that's what we call pressure support basically we tell the ventilator to provide a specific amount of proximal airway pressure during inspiration and keep it at this target so that means the flow will be by default variable and will take the decelerating ram as we explained before and that brings us to the cycle because the flow is decelerating ramp the cycle in pressure support ventilation is flow basically we tell the ventilator please terminate the breath when the flow rate become for example 25 percent or less than the peak flow here so if here was 60 so 25 percent mean f15 so as soon as it hits 15 the ventilator will sense this and terminate the breath and as you can tell here the we do not provide a tidal volume tidal volume will depends on the patient um, strength and his inspiratory effort um, plus on the patient target the higher the target the higher the flow the ventilation needs to give to provide that tidal volume so that's one thing so tidal volume is not determined not set it's it's variable depends on the patient respiratory effort depends on the target uh, as i said the higher target higher flow and we have higher flow that means higher volume being delivered also we can play with the inspiratory time because inspiratory time here is not directly set it's not it depends on the percentage we pick here if i make this 10 percent that means it will terminate here that means more time if i make it 40 percent that means we'll be here that means less time so less time inspiratory time means less tidal volume and higher inspiratory time means higher tidal volume so all of these are related inspiratory time flow rate the flow threshold we pick um, and the target so things we need to provide is what kind of patient trigger whether pressure or flow and then we have to provide the target the, the proximal airway pressure during inspiration and then we have to provide the flow cycle at what which percentage we need to terminate the breath we cannot decide this we cannot decide tidal volume these will be decided by the factors we just talked and of course the patient inspiratory efforts the last thing i want to finish in pressure control volume control the patient cannot alter its inspiratory time it's already predetermined but here the patient can change his inspiratory time and of course tidal volume accordingly from breath to breath